Hey everybody, Chris Steele here, and tonight we are reviewing Nitro Green from the House of Dumont. Man, so that last review I did was a little lackluster, but I'm here to tell you, me and this person, me and this 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 lovely little guy here, we're gonna make it up to you. This is in my top 10 of the year. I'm going to let you know all about it. But before we do, help me help you make the world a better smelling place. Like, comment, subscribe, become part of the channel. Thank you for all the returning subscribers. Thank you for new subscribers. And thank you for potential subscribers who may be watching this video right now. Let's get right into it. Very excited. Love this fragrance. Got it a few days ago and I, it's blown me away. Okay, so... Let's get to the notes, right? So first off, this is a a um a inspiration of um Ultramont from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And um this is different. It's different though. It is different. It's an inspiration, but it's different than 9 p.m. It's different than uh Rom Silver, it's different from Avant. It's a different a different scent, well, not different, scent profile. But there are nuances of this fragrance that are unique to this fragrance, and it makes it better, in my opinion. So let's get into the notes, okay? So in the top, you have vanilla, saffron, and jasmine. In the middle, you have light amber, lavender, amberwood, cedar, ambergris, and green leaves. And in the base, you have violet, fir resin, cedar, and earthy notes. Now, this is similar to JPG. It's similar to Roms. It's similar to Avant. All those are similar to uh, uh, 9 p.m. The big difference is this is way more masculine. Reason being, the brilliant people at Dumont knew what they were doing. Oh, my God, that smells good. You guys got to get this one. You got to get it. This is my favorite scent, DNA, and... Um, with the way what they did okay so let me get into it right so they took out the uh pear note so there was there's like this oh my god this smells so good i'm telling you you gotta get it there's this pear note and you can smell it real real rich and and for and like clones like uh 9 p.m and even the original but 9 p.m makes it even more so and i absolutely love 9 p.m but it has this very, very super duper sweet diabetic pear that comes through and it's just so loud and and sharp and it's it's obnoxious. It smells good, but it's obnoxious. This does not have it. And see, oh my God, this smells so good. It smells so good. If you're a fan of those fragrances, Rom Silver, I know a lot of people really, really like Rom Silver. Me personally, I preferred 9 p.m. because I felt it was stronger. But this one is like, it has that scent profile, but it's more masculine. Um, it almost has this minty kind of accord that is much stronger in this one. And the sweetness is dialed back, but then there's an ad that added, that clean vanilla freshness that you get from that scent DNA is amped up as well. This performs amazing. Let's get right into the performance, right? So you're talking about anywhere from eight to 10 hours easily on skin. On clothes, it's gonna be there for maybe a day or two. Ah, man, I, I can't stop myself from smelling. It smells so good. Ah, oh, man. I might have a problem, guys. <laughs> and this is the medicine. No. But uh yeah, this this is blow me away, man. I absolutely love this house. Uh I have not gotten a single bad fragrance from Dumont yet, and I'm looking to add many more Dumont fragrances to my collection. I hear there's Solario and different um lines like that, but the nitro line is fire. It's just pure fucking fire. There's no other way to put it. It's it's this is uh some heavenly juice right here. Heavenly. Uh, so, okay. 
Siage, you're talking about like a three foot bubble all around you for uh, the first two hours, and then it dials back some, but you're gonna smell it throughout the life of the eight to 10 hours that it's on your skin, your clothes. If you spray heavy like me, it's gonna be on you for a few days, but it smells absolutely great. What can you use this for? You can use this for, um, because it doesn't have that super duper obnoxious, uh, overly sweet pear note in it. This is more versatile. You can wear this excuse me, you can wear this church. You can wear this, it's kind of a weird follow-up, but you can wear this cl clubbing. So you can wear this while you're committing sin, and then you can wear this while you're repenting from sin. So just know that it is very versatile. It'll do you well either in heaven or hell. So just keep that in mind. Try not to go and do anything too crazy, laying yourself in a, you know. Anyway, so... Clubbing, church. Uh, would you wear this at the office? Could you wear this at the office? Yeah, you could pull it off at the office. So you just have to dial back your sprays a little bit. But this is has that freshness, and it's a fresh, clean, sweet, slightly powdery, aromatic, masculine fragrance. They really did their thing with that uh, ultra mall DNA, and they made it into their own. It's an amazing fragrance. Date night, you damn right. That's all I got to say. Date night for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Like, warrant, you got a warranty. for Like, they should have a warranty linked to this that if you're not smashing cheeks by the end of the night, you know, your money back guarantee. Because it's going to happen if you, and I'm not, well, maybe I am trying to be a little crude, but I'm trying to keep it real with you. This smells amazing. And women love that Ultramol. I know because I've, I've worn that scent DNA. That's one of my favorite scent DNAs. I get the most attention when I wear that one. This is, is, is Ultramol, but more masculine and slightly stronger, more versatile and less annoying. It is very good. So if you're not into super sweet unisex fragrances, you might want to check this out, especially if you do kind of like the Ultra Mall DNA, but you're just turned off by that sweet, that overly diabetic sweetness. Man, do yourself a favor and get you some of that green juice. Man, so uh, seasons, right? So this is, again, the Ultra Mall, the Ultra Mall um, fragrance, that DNA. The, it's very, it can be very versatile. It can be very cloying in summer, but I would dare to say that you could wear this in the summer as well. But, but, uh, this would be more suited for the fall, spring, and even the winter, uh, because it's strong enough to cut through the cold. And I can only imagine what this would smell like with that mint and that fresh vanilla smell and amber and the slight woods mixing with some cold Midwestern air. Good God, that would be, mm, makes me want to go outside right now and just let the world know. Man, all right, let's let the world know. Like, comment, subscribe, help me help you make the world a better smelling place. And don't sleep on this one. Please don't, because you, you do yourself a disservice, man. I know a lot of you guys like that ROM silver. I know a few of you like the 9 p.m. I'm here to tell you this completely blows both of those out of the water. It is This is another level of Ultramol. So just be on the lookout for it. Um, and you guys stay blessed, man. I'm going to be wearing that quite a bit this season. It's probably gonna you're probably gonna see it in several lists as the year goes on. Anyway, you guys stay blessed and I'll see you until the next one. Peace.